Well, here we are. <laughs> Me at my desk. You at yours. Me at my screen. You at yours. Surrounded by four walls. And what we so often want is a room with a view. And what we so often get is a view of a room. A boardroom that has seen too much of us. A bedroom that has seen us too little. Hotel rooms, you know, and airport terminals that we navigate by heart because we are business people now. <laughs> and so that means that we're too uh, tired and uh, working and no, 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 eat later and balance less and sleep later and live less and call you later and see you less. And it's not personal. It's just business. We're not personal. We're just busyness. So busy with a list of really important things I am going to do today. First, I'm going to squirrel. Uh, no, wait. No, uh, no. Uh, shiny object, shiny object. Wait, no, what was it? What was the distraction? Hold on, hold on. Tip of my tongue. Incoming. Damn it. I forgot. It's not personal. It's just business. I'm not personal. I'm just, you know, busy. So busy with trying to ease executive stress without putting myself into cardiac arrest. You know, I'm trying to be my company's project management medication while making sure that project managers don't leave me popping meds. Okay? Unless... Unless, of course, there is a drug that will help me clone myself, because that is the only way I am getting through this inbox, a.k.a. whack-a-mole. I knock out one email, a new one appears. I knock out one email, a new one appears. I knock out one. You know what? You know, I used, I used to hope for things. I had dreams like you. I used to hope for things like peace on earth. Now I just hope for a zero inbox day. You know, that, that is my world happiness. A workforce with no questions or complaints about their paycheck, that is my peace on earth. <laughs> right? I'm trying to plan, plot, and strategize for the next five years, but new problems and technologies pop up every five days, and while conquering them once felt like swatting one fly from the sky, now it feels like stepping on swarms of ants one at a time, so focused on, on getting moves done with each other and getting our mobility on with each other. We barely notice the ways we move from each other. We allow the distance between us to numb each each other until we've forgotten to be one with each other till we've forgotten to have fun with each other till we're certain we already know all there is to know about each other and that is that we are each others you at your desk me at mine you in your region me and mine and our work so close to us that sometimes the best way to refocus on it is to actually step away from it. Step away from the desk, sir. Step toward delight, ma'am, because we are more than screens and text and data. We are our, our breath and sight and touch. We are our, our wonderment. and awkwardness, <laughs> right, right, and, and, and laughter, right? Listen, before we were emojis, we were emotions, and we only let business up in our personal space because we want to keep business in a purposeful place. So I, I know it sounds crazy, but maybe our ability to define our terms, our business, to define ourselves for ourselves is born in the journey between accepting what is and asking what if. What if there is another way? You know, I, I don't, I know, I know where we are, but I just, I mean, what if we just decided, you, you know, just us, like forget them. What if you and I, just among friends, decided to do it different today? So I ask you, if we are going to do conference and Congress different today, how do you spell play? Spell culture. Spell leadership. I mean, you think about 
Think about a big-headed little kid growing up. You know, kids with them big heads, you know, the body ain't caught up yet, right? This space right above their head, it is always uncharted, unclaimed space. And then a few months later, boom, the space is their head. Their head has now become permanently that uncharted, unclaimed space everywhere they go. And that head will continue to overtake new space and grow and grow, which is why our bodies have to keep growing a frame that is mighty enough to support the ongoing growth of our big old heads, right? And just so, our brands have to keep growing a framework that is mighty enough to support the ongoing growth of our big ideas. And you leaders are the trailblazers for that growth. To grow your business, to grow your team, you gotta keep growing yourself. See, I know it sounds crazy, but what if your ability to fully express the value of your work lies in you having the audacity to first ask, how do you spell voice? Spell customer. Spell purpose. One of the ways that we can find ourselves in someone else's story is through a mutual purpose. The more our purpose is aligned, the more we blur our lines. And that's the importance of sharing stories that anchor your employees and your team members in their purpose, in your collective purpose of why you're there. The more you tell the stories that you are passionate about, the more you give others the opportunity to see their passion in your story. You tell the stories of the value that you bring to others, and you can help your company see your value. You tell the stories of how the purpose that drives you, and then others. Others become inspired to be more purpose-driven. But you have to change the meaning behind how you spell IT to, to see what you do, not just as information technology, but to see it as inspiration technology so that you don't just get to the future faster, but you get to the desired version of the future faster. Please do that. Use the bionic parts of us to enable the jobs that the robots cannot do the soft skills that foster empathy and kinship, the ability to nurture relationships, to make coworkers and clients feel heard and seen and understood, connected and safe in ways that are indelibly human. That is the point of connection that is behind every connection point. The human behind the data, the people behind the payments, all connected through the everyday experiences that bond us fresh cut grass beneath bare feet. Oh, we've all had it. We've all experienced it. Monday morning snooze buttons. Somebody in this section feels me, right? How about sick days called in with <coughs> fake coughs, playoff tickets in hand? Okay, a few more of you, okay. All right, let's get real with each other now. Um, bathroom scales that must be either broken or blatantly lying. <laughs> Just me? Okay. <laughs> this is what we share. Nodding at the hospital through a trembling smile as dad says the words, no, no more chemo. It's what we share, fathers with family, wives at the office, the most crucial board presentation of the year, but can't stop thinking of his voice on the phone, her face when she's sleeping, children's laughter down the hallway. We told her we would be there again, but the conference call went late again, and she stood up from that piano, desperately searching the recital audience for a glimpse of us and fought back tears during her bow again. This is the us, the human us, the naked us that is quietly inscribed on the back of our business cards. And if we just took a second to look closer, we find what's shared in who we are. Because the, the more that we share our stories with others, our scores and our scars, the more we give others the chance to find their story in ours. Because the front of our cards, they just, they merely talk to someone, but the back is a platform to dialogue with someone. And this, this is what I am proud to help business people learn how to deliver information through inspiration, through beautiful stories. What if that is the power of coming here? 
Huh? That power of coming together to ask yourself, how do you spell community? How do you spell community? To share that spark with others who share your fire. You are union. Your mouth's full of fusion like an unlit flame. You are disruption. Your eyes hold hurricanes that are yet to be named. You are voice. Your throats burn with anthems waiting to be claimed. You are John, Paul, George, and Ringo. Meeting in New Orleans at the Superdome for the first time, trying to decide if anything worthwhile will come of your collision. And you will emerge from this studio firmly in your grasp, a freshly written ditty called, I want to hold your hand because we can work it out, but only with a little help from my friends. So come together. Right now, mm, 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 over me. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and so you do. You come together because you know the power that lies in your collective song. You come together because you know the truth behind this rise of the humans. You come together because you know the truth behind the world of human resources, that our humanity is the world's greatest resource. Because this is the future of business, and it is ours to seize today, right? When inspiration, innovation, and insight are free to just play, and, and it begins with each of us here being bold enough to say, I know it sounds crazy, but what if there is a better way? Thank you.